I love curls. I feel like um, I feel like a small lion. It just makes me want to go to a beach. So the first thing I've done is I've just brushed my hair through. So I've just sprayed on my Lee Stafford heat protection spray. Uh, which is very important if you're doing anything heat wise with your hair because it protects your hair uh, from anything heat wise. That's great. Then I've got this Beach Matte Mermaid Look Texturizing Salt Spray which is got to be. I'm just putting my fingers through my hair just to make sure that it's dry before I start curling it. And the point of this spray is to give it a bit more texture so the curls sort of cling on a bit more because it's nice and textury. So I've just parted my hair to the side and I'm going to tie up one half because I'm concentrating on the other half. I'm then sectioning off the other half into two also. I'm then clipping this side over to the other side so I have that one underneath layer to start with. I'm using the Lee Stafford Chopstick Styler Hair Curlers today and I can't get in the box. So you've got a very very thin wand and you've got an on and off button and that's it. You don't have any control over the heat or anything, which is sort of a good thing because then you don't have to worry about it. Okay, it's now heated up. I've waited about two minutes. That's not long at all. And I'm gonna start curling it. I wanna curl it as close as possible to the root uh, so that you've got a lot more of a natural curl. I'm just wrapping it round. And then I'm gonna curl this up a touch more, but be very, very careful that you don't touch your face. Just hold it on, literally that's enough time. That's it guys. So the first curl is done, I then leave it to cool completely before I touch it. So I'm just going to carry on and do more. My hair's getting to that length when it's really hard to do. This one's going to be upwards, so you're changing the direction of the curl to make it look more natural. So one forward, one back, but mix it up. Bottom section's now done, so I'm letting down the second section and I'm going to start curling that. So, taking again just small bits. I'm going to curl these ones backwards, like so, just so it doesn't go in my face when. Let them out. Mm -hmm. I've done the half now and I'm just looking for any little strands that I haven't done but I'm pretty sure it's all done. Can you see the difference in the length of my hair just with curls? It's crazy isn't it? So I'm now halving the top section and tying it off, flipping it over and clipping it down. This is such a cool look. I... Now I'm going to take out the top section. And this is the last bit. So I've just finished curling and I'm now going to leave them all to cool completely before I style them at all. This side is still really really warm, this side is completely cool. So it should take sort of 5-10 to 10 minutes for it to cool, not too long. Also going to put this down before I like smack myself in the face with it because <laughs> we've all been close to doing that haven't we. With curls, I've learned over many years, do not brush them out. Do not brush your curls guys, it will ruin them all. Do not comb them. Fingers are usually the best or if you've got shh, try to film, shh, try to film. How rude. Find that if you've got a really wide tooth comb or just your hands, it's the best way to do it because otherwise you're going to ruin it and they'll go puffy if you brush them. So what I'm going to do is uh, take one curl and I'm just going to separate it into two. If it's a big curl, maybe three. So before and after, do that with every single curl. So break it up. Oh! <laughs> I didn't even know I could make that sound. So what I'm doing here, oh I look lovely. So what I'm doing here is I'm running my hands through to get rid of harsh edges because you don't want harsh edges guys. All brushed out and you can see it just looks so full and delicious. They can go a little bit frizzy. So what I do is every day before I go out with curls like this, 
this oil is a lifesaver. So this is argan oil, um, which they've called Oilicious, which is just the best name I've ever heard of in my life, which has got to be Schwarzkopf. I can never say that company. But I've just taken one squirt in my hand and I am rubbing it. It just smells divine. This is like this and like shea butter are two of my favorite smells in the world. And it brings this amazing, just shine to them. Oh yeah. I just love this look so much. These will last for me about three days, but then they'll start to go a bit puffy. Every time I wake up in the morning, I'll put a little bit more oil on them. How beautiful are these curls? I like the fact that the color graduates from brown to red. I think it adds like a little sign sign to my hair. But I just love it. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. If you have any questions, ask below. Do not forget to hit the like button and please subscribe as well if you want to see any more videos from me. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you're having a lovely day and I'll see you all soon. Bye.